Hello everyone, welcome to the first ever chairlift rating on this channel. So without further ado, here is a rating of every chairlift, including Mount Ellen, at Sugarbush Mountain Resort in Warren, Vermont. Enjoy! Number 13, the last spot, goes to the Village Quad at the Lincoln Peak side. This is a beginner lift, so it doesn't really get you anywhere, um, and it is very slow. So again, this ranks last because of its speed, and it only really accesses you to two beginner trails. Number 12 goes to the Summit Quad. This is the only lift at Mount Ellen that brings you to the summit, and it is extremely slow. It's not really worth it to lap because it only accesses you three trails, and you can get to most of them by the Northridge Quad. The next spot, number 11, goes to the North Lynx Triple on Lincoln Peak. This lift only accesses three trails, one intermediate trail, and that can get very skied off easily. Plus, it is a slow lift. I wouldn't recommend lapping this very much because of its speed and the amount of trails, but it is a fun lift to do once in a while. Number 10 spot goes to the Gatehouse Express. This might come as a surprise to people, but this is where the ski school lift mainly goes and it constantly stops and slows. It is a good lift and access is good terrain. However, it never really seems to run at its full speed. And with the ski school on weekends can get very, very backed up and stop often, which is why this, rank, this lift ranks so slow on the list. Hopefully they can update it soon because in my opinion, it very, need, very much needs an update because of its speed and the ski school. The number nine spot goes to the Sunshine Quad at Mount Ellen. This is a very short lift. It doesn't get you much, it, it doesn't access much terrain. However, it is the main terrain park chair at Sugarbush, so it can access some really fun beginner trails as well as some of the best terrain parks in New England. Um, and yeah, so this is the main terrain park chair at Mount Ellen. The next spot on this list, number eight, goes to Inverness Quad at Mount Ellen. This lift some, serves some good terrain, uh, mostly intermediate and um, a couple beginner trails as well, uh, but it can get slow. It actually has a really fast design speed for a fixed grip, um, but it can run pretty slow sometimes. Overall, this is a pretty good lift. The next spot, number seven, goes to the infamous Slidebrook Express Quad. This at one point was the longest chairlift in America or something, but it, it runs at um, 13 minutes and it, it's a very long trail to connect Mount Ellen and Lincoln Peak. It rarely runs, it actually didn't run at all this season due to staffing, so it doesn't get much time, but it is a very cool lift because it goes through the wilderness and it's very, very long. This may come as a surprise, but in the number six spot is the Valley House Quad. It may come as a surprise that it ranks this high because it is a slow fixed grip and doesn't access a ton of terrain, but I actually really do like this lift. It's a great backup to Super Bravo if it's down or has really long lines because you can access most of the Super Bravo um, and even Heaven's Gate terrain off of this. It just takes a little bit of traversing. But yeah, this is a very slow lift, um, but it's super comfy and accesses some great intermediate trails. The number five spot goes to the Green Mountain Express Quad, otherwise known as GMX, at Mount Ellen. This lift is the main lift out of the Mount Ellen base area and is a fun, um, quick, and comfortable lift ride. It can get pretty crowded because it is the main lift, however, Mount Ellen never gets too crowded, especially uh, even on weekends. But this does serve some great terrain, and you can access the Summit Quad and Northridge from this lift. So. Overall, this is a really cool lift to ride, um, even when it's a little crowded. The number four spot goes to the Super Bravo Express Quad. Even though this lift can get very crowded on the weekends like Gatehouse, it is often way more reliable than Gatehouse and um, runs way faster most of the time. Sometimes it even runs close to or at its full speed, which is good, and it accesses some terrific intermediate and advanced terrain. You can also access Heaven's Gate from this lift, and it's just an overall great uh, 
lift to lap if it isn't too crowded. If it is, you can take Valley House, but um, this is a very fun lift. And getting into the top three, number three goes to the Heaven's Gate Triple. This is the only chairlift that reaches the full summit of Lincoln Peak. And while it only serves four trails, it is a very great lift to lap um, because the trails have a very decent length um, for this chairlift. Jester is my favorite intermediate trail in all of New England. And it's just an over really, overall really fun lift to lap and it's very um, old feeling too. Good old Northridge Express takes the number two spot. This lift is the, I guess you could say, second to main crowded lift at Mount Ellen. This is the perfect lift to lap because it has so many great, so much great terrain and it's fast and easy. This is a very old and unique lift with very cool terminals, so a very cool lift to check out if you're ever here. And finally, the number one spot on the list goes to, of course, the Castle Rock Double. This is such a old and cool lift that accesses some of the gnarliest terrain in all of New England. And while it does have very low capacity, this is a very fun lift to ride if you're looking for some excellent uh, steep and mowgli terrain at Sugarbush. I would highly recommend going on this lift if you're here. And if you have the ability to. Well, that is all for the lift ranking of Sugarbush. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you liked it, agreed with it, or disagreed with it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.